गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग ड्यूल नेचर ऑफ मैटर बेसिकली सम फिनोम ऑफ लाइट वर एक्सप्लेन बाय वेव थियोरी ऑफ लाइट एंड सम फिनोमिना आर एक्सप्लेन बाय पार्टिकल नेचर ऑफ लाइट सो हैंस लाइट इज ऑफ ड्यूल नेचर हेव विल स्टडी इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट वी इंट्रोड्यूस द टर्म्स वट इज फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन so as we know that within the atoms electrons are present in the shells so electron in the outermost shell of the atom which are loosely bound so such loosely bound electrons which are present in the outermost shell these are known as free electrons yani unko thodi si energy mile aur ye reaction karne ke liye ya combination ke liye hamare paas available ho pae next is work function work function it is basically the minimum energy that is required by electron to escape from the metal surface it means from the metal surface if for this particular atom for this metal if some energy is given to it an electron that will move out from this surface so the energy required by electron yani electron ko kitni energy chahiye yahan se detach hone ke liye so that minimum energy just to escape from the metal surface by the electron this is called work function so how can we define it that this is the minimum work minimum energy required by electron to just escape from metal surface now this work function did depend upon the factors like temperature of metal nature of metal and the impurities present in metal surface now this work function this is measured in electron volt so now as when the electron will be emitted when certain energy will be given then that will be leading to electron emission so what is electron emission phenomena of emission of electron from the metal surface it means emission of electron from metal surface this is electron emission so electron emission can be done by different methods so first of all i will just give you the brief point what is thermo ionic emission it is a phenomenon of emission of electron from metal surface when it is heated suitably when so when uh, metal surface is heated so that will lead to emission of electron so this is called thermo ionic emission thermo leading to heating so the emitted electrons these are termed as thermal electrons next is photoelectric emission so it is the phenomena of emission of electron from metal surface when radiation of suitable frequency that is fall on the surface so when radiation of suitable frequency is incident on the metal surface that is leading to emission of electron this is called photoelectric emission so that now the emitted electrons these are known as photo electrons here we will study this photoelectric emission in detail next is field emission field emission it is a phenomena of emission of electron from metal surface when some strong electric field is applied so for the metal surface when some electric field is applied that is leading to emission of electrons next is 
secondary amnesia so it is the emission of electron from surface of metal when fast moving electron strike the metal surface so when fast moving electron are hitting this metal surface that is leading to emission of electron so this is called secondary emission so here we have discussed different electron emission now after this we will discuss photoelectric emission in detail so now next topic is photoelectric effect so what is it it is the phenomena of emission of electron from metal surface when radiation of suitable frequency fall on it so now the emitted electrons will be termed as photoelectrons and that is leading to flow of current so current produced in the circuit that is photoelectric current so it means when light of suitable frequency is incident on a metal surface then only this is leading to photoelectric current so when we are saying that this suitable frequency so now for it we will use the term threshold frequency threshold frequency it is the minimum value of frequency of incident radiation below which photoelectric emission stop what does it mean ki agar incident frequency ki value is threshold frequency se kam hogi to photoelectric emission possible nahi hai kyun possible nahi hai kyunki frequency suitable energy supply nahi kar rahi hai jiske corresponding no emission of electrons will takes place so this is the essential condition for photoelectric effect that there must be the frequency there must be the light having certain minimum frequency after that only emission of electron will takes place now next we are studying experimental study of photoelectric effect as this experimental setup i have just drawn this figure this consists of this evacuated glass or quartz tube which encloses this photosensitive plate c and another plate a a glass window is sealed on the glass tube which allows a light of suitable frequency to fall on the plate so when light is incident what will happen this will lead to emission of electrons so electrons are emitted from the cathode plate and these are collected by the plate a and this is anode plate or you can say this is collector plate electrons are emitting from this so this cathode is taken as an emitter and uh, this and electrons are moving and reaching to this plate this is anode that means electrons are collected at this so it is taken as collector plate so when the electrons are moving from cathode to anode so photoelectric current will flow in the circuit now so when we have taken that the light is incident on the cathode plate current will start flowing in the outer circuit so here now we will study variation of photoelectric current basically we will uh, we will study photoelectric effect by changing different factors so first factor we are studying that is the effect of intensity of incident radiation rather effect ki jagah hum yahan likhenge variation of photoelectric current because photoelectric effect leads to flow of current so sabse pehle agar hum ye kehte hain here is the intensity so 
So now, as we have plotted graph between intensity and photoelectric current, so basically for it, maintain collector at positive potential with respect to emitter. So if we will maintain this collector at the positive potential with respect to this emitter, so that electrons emitted from this emitter are accelerated toward this collector plate. So now, basically, this light is incident on this glass window. So the vary the intensity of radiation, incident radiation. So what will be observed when there is an increase in intensity of the radiation, photoelectric current also increases linearly with intensity. So if we plot the graph, it will be a straight line. When you are varying the intensity of radiation, photoelectric current is increasing. So, photoelectric current, it is basically directly proportional to number of photoelectrons emitted per second. Yani, jitne zada electrons yahan se emit honge, that will lead to flow of current. Yani, yahan se agar hum intensity ko badhate hain, jitni intensity bad jayegi, yahan se utne hi zada number of electrons liberate honge and that will lead to flow of current in the circuit. So, we can totally say that photoelectric current is proportional to intensity and it is also directly proportional to number of photoelectrons emitted per second. Which means the number of photoelectrons emitted per second, it is directly proportional to intensity of incident radiation. More will be the intensity, more will be the number of photoelectrons emitted. So, if you have to discuss effect of variation of intensity, first of all, you have to see the graph as when we are increasing the intensity, number of photoelectrons emitted from the cathode plate will increase. This will lead to increase of photoelectric current. Now, next is effect of potential of plate A with respect to cathode plate. See, now here keep this plate A at positive potential with respect to C plate, cathode plate and illuminate cathode plate with radiation of suitable frequency. Yani, hum again yaha par keh rahe hai ki anode plate ko hum positive potential pe rakhte hai aur cathode plate ko hum uh, that is uh, you can say that the now illuminate this plate C with radiation of suitable frequency and fixed intensity. So now vary the positive potential. Dekhi, yahaan humne intensity ko vary nahi karna. Intensity jo fixed a rahi hai, wahi hai. Ab hum kya keh rahe hai ki yahaan se hum, what we are varying, vary this positive potential of this anode plate. Ab agar hum is positive potential ko vary karte hai, aur hum photoelectric current ko note karte hai, to conclusion kya aata hai ki photoelectric current increases with the increase in positive potential of this plate. So, it means when we are saying that for a fixed intensity, this photoelectric current, this is like this. For a fixed intensity, you are observing this photoelectric current that is increasing with the increase of this potential. At one stage, for certain positive potential of this plate A, photoelectric current become maximum. This is saturate ho jana. Yani constant ho jana. So, first of all, we will say that as the positive potential of anode plate is increased, photoelectric current increases. But after that, for further increase in this positive potential, here we will observe that the photoelectric current will remain to be constant. After this, further if we try to increase the potential of A, that will be, there will be no increase in the current. It will remain to be constant. So, this maximum value of photoelectric current is ko hum ek term dete hai, that is saturation current. Now, to reduce this photoelectric current to zero, maal loga hume is current ko zero karna hai, kyunki basically zero potential pe to kuch current ki value hai. Ab agar hum is photoelectric current ko zero pa reduce karna chahate hai, to hume kya karna padega? Hume yaha pe kuch negative potential apply karna padega. So now, here we will apply some negative potential on plate A with respect to C. So in that particular case. So when we will maintain this anode at 
नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल अब इसको भी अगर हमने नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल दे दिया तो क्या होगा ये जो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एमिटेड हो रहे हैं कैथोड प्लेट से दे विल एक्सपीरियंस ए फोर्स ऑफ रिपल्शन सो दे विल बी रिपेल्ड तो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस ओनली हाईली एनर्जेटिक फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मे रीच प्लेट ए सो इंक्रीजिंग द नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल ऑफ दिस प्लेट ए फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट विल डिक्रीज क्योंकि अगर यहाँ से इलेक्ट्रॉन रिपेल हो रहे हैं और बहुत कम इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वेरी हाईली एनर्जेटिक इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर ओनली क्रॉसिंग द सर्किट कंप्लीटिंग द सर्किट उस केस में फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट डिक्रीज होना शुरू हो जाएगा और पर्टिकुलर एक पर्टिकुलर पोटेंशियल पे इसकी नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल पे फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट की वैल्यू जीरो हो जाएगी तो उस केस में जब हम इस ग्राफ को प्लॉट करेंगे दैट विल बी लाइक दिस दैट इल बी माइनस वी नॉट so what I have explained here this is very important explanation part listen it very carefully सबसे पहले हम क्या कहेंगे कि हमने एनोड प्लेट को पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल दिया जैसे जैसे पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल दिया और कैथोड प्लेट को हमने इल्यूमिनेट किया किससे पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी और इंटेंसिटी से ऑफ लाइट से जैसे इनको इंक्रीज किया फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट इंक्रीज होगा अब उसके बाद फर्दर हम देख रहे हैं कि जैसे जैसे पोटेंशियल बढ़ा रहे हैं फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट सेचुरेशन वैल्यू ले लेता है नाउ फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट जीरो नहीं है टू रिड्यूस दिस फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू जीरो उसी एनोड प्लेट को हम नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल देते हैं इतना नेगेटिव देते हैं ताकि एक पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट पे कोई भी फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन कैथोड से एनोड की तरफ नहीं जा पाएगा सो so, उसके कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग कोई भी फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट फ्लो नहीं होगा सो दैट पर्टिकुलर पोटेंशियल दिस इज माइनस वी नॉट सो द मिनिमम नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल That I have denoted by v naught. This given to plate A with respect to C. So at which photoelectric current become zero. This is called stopping potential. Or is called another name. देते हैं cut off potential. तो so, इस पोटेंशियल को हमने क्या डन दिया कि यानी जितनी एक मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल हमें अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा एनोड प्लेट पर सो दैट फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट इज रिड्यूज टू जीरो सो दिस पोटेंशियल इज टेकन एज दिस इज टर्म एज स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल और एन अदर नेम फॉर इट इज कट ऑफ पोटेंशियल नाउ हेयर इफ वी विल रिपीट द सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट विद रेडिएशन ऑफ सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी बट इंटेंसिटी को बढ़ा देते हैं अब अगर हम इंटेंसिटी को बढ़ा देंगे तो उस केस में क्या होगा फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट भी बढ़ जाएगा यानी मान लो यहाँ आई टू पे किया फिर आई थ्री पे किया लेकिन उनकी फ्रीक्वेंसी सेम है तो बेसिकली वेन यू विल जस्ट अप्लाई नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल सो द कर्व विल बी लाइक दिस वाई इन ऑर्डर टू रिड्यूस दिस फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू जीरो so here saturation current will increase with the increase of intensity but stopping potential remain to be the same very important point this is why i am repeating it that just as we intensity of incident radiation ko badhate hain current ki value badhti ja rahi hai lekin stopping potential same rahega so here basically what are the conclusion point from this that all the photo electrons All photoelectrons emitted from cathode, these are not having same kinetic energy. Not having same kinetic energy. And for the radiation of given frequency and material, this value of stopping potential, it is independent of intensity. This is independent of intensity of radiations. but depend upon radiation source and nature of material so इलेक्ट्रॉन जितने भी एमिट होते हैं दे आर नॉट हैविंग सेम काइनेटिक एनर्जी सेकेंड पॉइंट द रेडिएशन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड मटीरियल वैल्यू ऑफ दिस स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वैल्यू ऑफ स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइफ बट डिपेंड अपॉन दिस इज यू कैन से नेचर ऑफ मटीरियल and radiation source so here 
as maximum kinetic energy will be half m v maximum square where v maximum it is a maximum velocity of emitted photo electrons this is a maximum velocity of e emitted electrons and this will also be equal to ev naught now after this next we are discussing effect of frequency of incident radiation on photoelectric current so if we plot this photoelectric current with the potential but frequency of incident radiation is varying and intensity intensity of incident light we are taking to be same this is photoelectric current and intensity is kept to be constant so what will be the graphical representation as for fixed intensity the graph for current and photo uh, and the potential will be this one intensity is constant so let this correspond to frequency mu1 another frequency if we are taking the frequency to be increased to graph aapka kis form mein aa jayega like this further if the frequency is increased the graph will be like this yani stopping potential aapka constant rahega इसके कोरेस्पॉन्ड सॉरी स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल कांस्टेंट नहीं होगा फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक करंट कांस्टेंट होगा स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल हर अलग अलग फ्रीक्वेंसी के लिए अलग अलग हो जाएगा यू कैन सी हियर एज फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इंक्रीजिंग स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल इज आल्सो गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग सो as we have taken in this graph very important point that intensity of incident radiation is kept fixed and if we plot graph between current and potential photoelectric current saturation current will remain same but as the frequency is we are changing here stopping potential will be varying it will be different so what are the conclusions that stopping potential is different for different frequencies second the value of this stopping potential is more negative more negative kab ho raha hai for higher frequencies yahan dekh rahe hain aap ki jaise jaise frequency bad rahi hai it is attaining more negative value and this value of saturation current this depend upon intensity of incident radiation but it is independent of frequency so you can say that the saturation current is independent of frequency but depend upon intensity of incident radiation so these graphical representations are very important when this question can be there plot the graph between current and potential by varying the frequency or by varying the intensity so teeno graphs bahut important hai pehle inko draw karna aur isse hum kaise conclusion draw karte hain now next now after this next we are studying graph graph between stopping potential and frequency अभी पिछले वाले ग्राफ में हमने कंक्लूजन किया है कि जैसे जैसे हम फ्रीक्वेंसी को इंक्रीज करते हैं स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल मोर नेगेटिव हो जाता है सो नाउ वी आर प्लॉटिंग ग्राफ बिटवीन स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी सो हियर as if we plot it for two different materials let a and b we have taken the graph will be like this and these two point this is indicating threshold frequency yani electrons will be emitted when light of suitable frequency is incident yani graph will not be passing through horizon it will start from this ni kuch minimum frequency denge to uske baad hi electrons emit out honge so now as the graph is when the frequency will be increased potential will also be increased here what we are concluding from this graph that for a given photosensitive material stopping potential vary linearly with the frequency of incident radiation this is varying linearly with frequency of incident radiation 
and there is certain minimum cutoff frequency that is called threshold frequency threshold frequency for which stopping potential is zero so now if we will just uh, produce it in the backward direction on this graph these lines when incident on this vertical potential axis at one point so basically these are the point this is giving intercept on potential axis this is giving intercept on potential axis and for this this will be phi not 1 upon e this will be phi not 1 upon phi not 2 upon e negative basically kya hai this is the पोटेंशियल स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल की कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग है तो ये एक्सिस पोटेंशियल की है अब ये नेगेटिव पोटेंशियल है तो अगर हम कहते हैं फाइव फाइव फैक्टर क्या है वर्क फंक्शन सो हायर इज द वर्क फंक्शन मोर विल बी द फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट इज थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस वर्क फंक्शन इज एन एनर्जी सो इट इज ई इन टू वी सो बेसिकली ऑन दिस एक्सिस This potential will be given by phi upon e. So for first metal, this is for a as threshold frequency is nu not one and intercept. What is it? This is intercept on potential axis. क्या represent कर रहा है minus phi not by e. हमने यहाँ दो अलग अलग metals के लिए लिया हुआ है तो उसके लिए corresponding two different values है. अब अगर हम इसकी वैल्यू इस फंक्शन की फॉर्म में यानी वर्क फंक्शन की वैल्यू एच न्यू नॉट की फॉर्म में ले तो ये हो जाएगा माइनस एच न्यू नॉट अपॉन ई यानी इस फाइव नॉट को हम लिख सकते हैं दिस फाइव नॉट इज ई इन टू मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इंटरसेप्ट ऑन पोटेंशियल एक्सिस यानी यहां से हो गया फाइव नॉट इज ई इन टू इंटरसेप्ट ऑन पोटेंशियल एक्सिस so on the basis of the different factors affecting photoelectric current now there will be laws of photoelectric effect as these laws is nothing new concept but jo humne abhi tak study kiya hai unhi se hi hum conclude karte hain so first law is for a given metal and frequency of incident radiation number of photoelectrons ejected per second yani emitted out is directly proportional to intensity of incident radiation i am writing in brief but you can note down from the notes which i am explaining jo main language bol rahi hu i am repeating for a given metal and frequency of incident radiations number of electron yani number of photo electrons emitted out it is proportional to intensity of incident radiation second point for a given metal there exist certain minimum frequency this minimum frequency of incident radiation below which no emission of electron takes place so it means agar glass surface ke upar jo hamara experimental setup tha agar uske upar incident frequency hai that is less than this threshold frequency nu not ho gaya threshold frequency so if there exists a minimum frequency of incident radiation and the incident radiation having frequency less than this threshold frequency then no thermo no uh, electron emission will takes place so the frequency at which emission of electron takes place that is threshold frequency now above threshold frequency यानी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के एमिट होने के लिए कंडीशन है कि लाइट मस्ट बी दैट इज इंसिडेंट इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट व्हिच इज स्ट्राइकिंग ऑन द सरफेस हैविंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ग्रेटर देन थ्रेश सो अब थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एमिटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इंटेंसिटी मैक्सिमम काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इंटेंसिटी whereas it depends upon frequency of incident light dekhi kinetic energy jo humne bataya tha that was half mv square maximum hai aur isko humne kiske equal liya tha ev not iska meaning kya hua 
देखिए हमने एक ग्राफ प्लॉट किया था करंट एंड पोटेंशियल में तो हम क्या कह रहे हैं कि जैसे जैसे फ्रीक्वेंसी इंसिडेंट करती है इंक्रीज होती है तो काइनेटिक एनर्जी भी इंक्रीज होगी क्यों काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दिस पोटेंशियल यानी पोटेंशियल और फ्रीक्वेंसी डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल है लेकिन पोटेंशियल और इंटेंसिटी इंडिपेंडेंट है तो वही रिजल्ट काइनेटिक एनर्जी के लिए दिया जाएगा आप इस ग्राफ में देखिए जो हमने एक्सप्लेन किया था यहाँ आप देख रहे हो कि यहाँ से बेसिकली जो काइनेटिक एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स गेन करेंगे दैट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द इंटेंसिटी बट क्यों क्योंकि यहाँ पर देखिए पोटेंशियल अलग अलग इंटेंसिटी के लिए इंटेंसिटी हमने वेरी की है फिर भी ये स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल सेम है अब अगर स्टॉपिंग पोटेंशियल सेम है तो क्या होगा ई वी नॉट किसके इक्वल है हाफ एम वी स्क्वेयर यानी ये वी नॉट अगर वेरी नहीं कर रहा है तो काइनेटिक एनर्जी भी इंडिपेंडेंट है इंटेंसिटी के ये थोड़ा कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत ध्यान रखने वाला है बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंक्लूजन सो अब थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी सो अब थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस मैक्सिम कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एमिटेड फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इंटेंसिटी एंड डिपेंड अपॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ इंसिडेंट लाइट एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन एमिजन दिस इज इंस्टेंटेनियस प्रोसेस इट इज एन इंस्टेंटेनियस प्रोसेस दैट मीन इंस्टेंटेनियस प्रोसेस का मतलब क्या हुआ कि एक सरफेस पे लाइट इंसिडेंट हुई और उसके बाद इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एमिट आउट हुआ सो टाइम गैप टाइम लैग बिटवीन इंसिडेंट ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड एमिजन ऑफ फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम अ मेटल सरफेस दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल दैट मीन्स इट इज लेस देन टेन रेस टू बी पावर माइनस टेन सेकेंड यानी इतने कम टाइम लगता है इससे भी कम टाइम लगता है कि इलेक्ट्रॉन को एमिट होने पर जब लाइट इंसिडेंट करती है तभी इसको हमने कहा इंस्टेंटेनियस प्रोसेस सो फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक एमिजन इज एन इंस्टेंटेनियस प्रोसेस बिकॉज टाइम ऑफ एमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एज द एज द इंटेंसिटी स्ट्राइकिंग ओवर द सरफेस इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लाइट इज फॉलोइंग ऑफ द सरफेस दैट इज टाइम गैप इज वेरी वेरी लेस दैट इज लेस देन टेन रेस टू दी पावर माइनस नाइन सेकेंड so that's all for today so today we have introduced photoelectric effect its experimental setup various graphical representations is pe graph ka representation explanation part bahut acche se karna hai kyunki zyada tar isme question graph draw karne ke upar aur explanation part par aa jata hai after that there can be these laws of photoelectric emission so you must learn this laws of photoelectric emission देर आर बेसिकली फोर लॉज की नंबर ऑफ फोटो इलेक्ट्रॉन एमिटेड इज प्रपोर्शनल टू इंटेंसिटी ऑफ इंसिडेंट रेडिएशन नो एमिजन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टेक्स प्लेस वेन द इंसिडेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज लेस देन थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन एमिजन विल टेक्स प्लेस फॉर फ्रीक्वेंसी ग्रेटर देन थ्रेश होल्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड फॉर सच फ्रीक्वेंसी काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इंटेंसिटी बट डिपेंड अपॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ इंसिडेंट लाइट एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट photo electric emission is instantaneous process so learn and revise these concepts thoroughly thank you have a nice day